So despite the sneering at this infant startup's humble beginnings from the Guardian reading classes, I'm delighted to report that GB News continues to go from strength to strength. The blog Guido Fawkes reports that GB News is beginning a silent revolution on British television. Last night's viewing figures show that the channel's evening programmes, Farage and Brazier, with Nigel Farage and Colin Brazier, paced ahead of Sky News Tonight and BBC News. It's no surprise to me, absolutely no surprise whatsoever. Sky News is now just free propaganda for Greta Thunberg and her apocalypse prophesies and doom cult these days and the BBC continues to alienate its one-time core audiences showing its bias over uh, everything from the Conservative Party to indeed Brexit. Now if you ask me folks the likes of Andrew Neil made a mistake, a calculated mistake and I don't criticise him often. I think he's a hero as far as broadcasting's concerned. But I think he made a mistake in leaving that fledgling channel so prematurely. Sure, there have been rough and choppy waters to begin with. With such a big project like that, it's always going to be, right? Nothing's going to be plain sailing for a channel like that. Well, not unless you've got the bloody BBC's cash that we're all coerced into paying. But that's another matter. That's another video. But boy, oh boy. Is it exciting times for the British broadcasting landscape and the choice, crucially, contained within it? That's the beauty of GB News for me. It's given us a choice. And I'm so grateful to them for it. So I say, you know, keep on keeping on, GB News. Best of British to you.